Hey, love, guess what we just got? A new generator. A new generator, that's right. So, we're on that trailer is uh, the framework and stuff for our new carport that's going to become a shop. So, we needed a generator that will handle power tools, like table saws and stuff. And as you can hear, we have our other little inverter generator running our house right now. So, we went with this one because number one price point is really inexpensive um, how long it will last we'll find out but um, it had some features that we really wanted so uh, almost a two gallon tank which is really good it actually has a fuel gauge which is nice because our other generator there does not hopefully it works well a lot of times they don't on these they're just afloat and they slosh around this is an inverter generator um but unlike your little camper <coughs> ones this is a 4000 watt or 3500 running watts um so it's got the power uh to run things it has actually a manual choke and just a run stop switch again a lot of those inverters have like you turn it to choke and then to run so this is pretty cool I have a question. Is there supposed to be a connection here? From here to here? Oh, maybe. Because there's not one. Okay, we're going to take a look at that and see. We have a uh, 30 amp RV plug. <coughs> Two of the 20 amp plugs <coughs> with the sideways well, blade. Yep, it has eco mode, so if you're not running a big load, you can do that and it'll save on power. A couple of direct DC, can it back up? A couple of direct uh, USB, so you can just plug Sambo. your phones and Pop stuff off. in, and your circuit breaker, and you can parallel connect it with another one of these. So that would give you 8,000 or 7,000 running. Uh, so that'd be really cool. Oh, and a ground lug so you can ground it out. <coughs> And let's see here. Recoil start. We have never had a generator with push start because um, that's just one more thing that could fail, honestly. And it's a lot of extra cost when I can pull a cord just fine. Fuel shut off. Now she had mentioned It doesn't, so it's probably not. This is just air intake, so. Oh. Yeah, with the air filter, so that's fine. Or it could be one of those California things. Uh, yeah, it is Exhaust. Like, rated for California as well. Yeah, carb compliant BS. Carb with the little spark arrestor in there, which is really good out here in the desert, because big fire hazard. And standard oil fill in, on the other side. So, uh. It looks good, it looks legit. It actually had some pretty good ratings and reviews. Um, I always read the bad ones too because sometimes you can just tell someone didn't know what the hell they were talking about. Oh, did you mention that you can parallel connect it? Too? Yes, I did. Yeah, it's got the connectors right there. Yeah, so pretty stoked. Uh, we'll see We'll see how this one does. That little pulsar we had. Um, actually, let's just walk over and take a peek at that too real quick. Oh, one more thing. It has a, a high altitude kit with it, with like a new orifice and stuff. So, and this is gas only. Um, but that's cool for us because we're uh, we're right at that cusp. We're at like 55, 5,600 feet. And uh, depending on where on our property you are. <laughs> and uh, like we'll get snow and down there won't have any down there won't have any and uh, sometimes we won't get any but this little hill right behind us will so this is our other generator we've been using this we've literally used this every day for hours a day since before Christmas and it's now March um, and we were using it even in the summer before that just not all day every day and we just changed the oil, like we said, and cleaned the air filter, and it's been 
There's two different really altitude good. kits. There's one for 3,000 to 6,000, and the other one is 6,000 to 8,000 feet. Okay, cool. So well, you'll have to look into that. We'll probably have to switch that out, yeah. But I'm super stoked that it came with that because we do have to be kind of picky about some things will work here and things some things won't. We're just kind of on that border between high altitude and not high altitude. So anyway, um, there's supposed to be a storm rolling in, even though it's pretty nice and calm right now. Um, hopefully we get some rain to knock down the dust so I can build that carport soon. And, uh, yeah, and this thing here, we're going to fire up tomorrow. Oh, there's warnings all over, but there's two of these shipping brackets under the motor. Make sure you take them out before you uh, do anything else. And uh, it did come with some tools. I came with a 10 millimeter wrench that you can use for this bracket. But uh, I don't know what the other stuff is for, per se. I'll probably spark plug spark plug wrench so hey you've got some maintenance tools that come with it so that's good uh, anyway uh we will update another time about how well this thing works and thanks for watching